right here is my mimic octopus. Oh my god, he still sees more. He sees more. Look at this. Look at the, look at the grouper. Look at the grouper. Underwater footage inside my aquarium. I have never seen these fish at the store, literally ever. What is going on my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Kyle and I are, I should say, Kyle's taking me on a serious adventure here. He swears that he's gonna jump in the water and shoot a sheep's head. We got the spear gun here, we got the bucket, we got the mask, Kyle's jumping in. He's gonna take the GoPro along with him. Hopefully he'll see a bunch of fish and maybe we'll get one for dinner as well. And then we're gonna be at the same park. This park is huge. It's filled with mangroves, filled with fish. I always come here cast net stuff to go use for bait. And you know what? You can even find some really cool colorful fish here as well so we're gonna start this video with kyle jumping in we're walking through the forest right now hopefully there's no banana spiders who really knows oh nice little puddle right here i got the cast net back at the truck and we're gonna go we're gonna cast in a bunch of stuff too so we can take home to our aquarium it's gonna be a good video look at all this water in here y'all i forgot my hat i forgot my og fish guy shades we're just winging it right now you guys the tide's extremely high look at this this is literally water from the intercoastal look at this puddle we can maybe freaking find fish right here dude look at this all the way to there that's the intercoastal i think we could probably find a fish can we find a fish in here? Oh my oh, god, it's cool. Puffer, puffer, puffer. Yeah, look at that. Look at the puffer fish. Look at the puffer fish. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, there he is. Haha, go, little guy. All right, we're, we're following Kyle here. We don't know what we're doing. Taking you to a secret Italian spot. A very, very nice spot. You got the spear gun. All right, y'all, get excited for this one. I don't know what we're in for, but it's going to be a good video. Okay, I think we've made it after about a 10 minute journey. Now, this is the first time I've ever gone hiking in Florida. I'm not going to lie. Sarcastic. Sarcastic. All right, maybe even more like five minutes, but uh, we're definitely here. Kyle's fired up to get in the water. He's got the spear gun. He says he's going to spear something. Gosh, he took me for a loop. I mean, I was not expecting this. Yeah. Kyle, I'm pretty sure you said that we're here. I'm, I'm still walking. Water right there. Okay, we did make it. Oh yeah, it's packed. We made it to the designated location here. Fish guy Kyle is very confident. He's very confident he's gonna see something and shoot it. I, I'm, I'm praying. I'm living on a prayer right now. It's windy. The water looks really nice though. Kyle's getting masked up, GoPro'd up. Let's see, fingers crossed he's gonna see something for you guys and uh, there'll be some awesome footage. Just a little bonus here, living the fish guy lifestyle. So his plan is to dive that mangrove stump right there and work it all the way back down to here, which we should see some really cool stuff. Maybe we'll see lionfish, we'll see snappers, grunts, sheep's head, barracudas, who knows? It's gonna be all up to Kyle. Right there's a wild koya. One of the rarest species in the world right there, swimming in the water. Well, I wanna know what he's seeing just as bad as you guys do, so here's the footage. Fish guy, Kyle, interview. Saw one cuda, got on the GoPro. Uh, a lot of reef fish though, a lot of cool little reef fish. Definitely, I think I can shoot though. Nothing to shoot? Um, a lot of seaweed in the boat traffic was moving the log. I was trying to record, but the whole log was moving like this, but I just couldn't get anything. No? Yeah, so we tried. we tried. We tried, we tried, but we got good footage, you think? Yeah, I got great footage. Okay, yeah. that's what we like to hear. Awesome, let's head back to the truck, get mission, the nets. Mission 90 minus 20% successful. 90 minus 20, so 70%? Yeah. 70% successful. Let's head back to the truck. Let's get some freaking rods. Let's get the bucket. Let's get the cast net. Let's catch some fish. Well, the past few days have not been going my way whatsoever. I'm gonna be blatantly honest with you guys. I've tried to film the same video for three days in a row and every single time something happens then I just I just can't get it done. Yesterday, I was literally through the net probably 200 times. I could not catch a darn thing. Not only that, but the store got my Mimic Octopus in and I just tested my water and I think my, my cycle's all messed up. My tank water is not okay, so now I have to wait a little bit longer for that. But the good news is, is that I paid for the octopus and I 100% have it at the store. I went and I saw it. It looks absolutely unbelievable. So that's coming insanely soon. But I know most of the times when I film my videos, everything looks like everything goes perfectly. And at the end of the day, 
It doesn't always go like that. The past few days, like I said, I've been trying to film a video and I just haven't been able to make it happen. That was some cool footage you guys got to see in the beginning of some awesome, of a cool little dive right here. But today, I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna go look at my Mimic Octopus, I'm gonna make sure he's doing well, and then when I'm there, I'm gonna shop around for some fish as well. Because you know what? I need to buy some fish to cheer me up. I haven't bought a fish in a while and I really want to. I've got some leftover bait that I took fishing this morning to try and catch some fish, so I'm gonna feed it to the pond. There's my big old Orinoco peacock. Here's our tarpon. Oh, he got a little scared. There he goes, he got it that time. Here's our platinum red tail. Boom, grubbing. Here's our regular red tail. Jeremy, come on buddy, get it. Come on, come on, come on Jeremy. There you go, buddy. And there's the tarpon way out there. Oh, he beat it to him. Tell you what, at the end of the day, you always got your fish. Come back, they're happy to see you. You're happy to see them. And you know what? I wanna go get some new fish for me today. That's, that's how I'm gonna cheer myself up. I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna look around, and I'm gonna get a new fish. Let's get in the truck. Let's head to the store, baby. Let's turn this day around. All right, so we just got to the store here. I'm looking at the octopus inside the tank here. I'm gonna show you guys him now, but I'm gonna blur it because you know what, I don't wanna spoil it. He's inside the jar right there. Wow, I cannot wait to take that thing home. I told you guys I don't really know what's going on with my cycle with the tank. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit longer, but we'll see what happens. Wow, check out this guy. This is a blue spot grouper. A little bit different than the one I have at home. Mine is a blue line grouper, but that fish is, is stunning. Check out all those blue dots, yellow tail. Wow, that fish is beautiful, about a foot long. I mean, I cannot wait for my blue line grouper Zeus to be that big right there. Check out this guy, it's Pennywise reincarnated. Look at this, and this guy's mean. This guy's really mean. Oh, I miss Pennywise so much. That clown trigger is so beautiful. This guy's super aggressive too. They were telling me as soon as he came in that he was biting the bag, he was ready to go. Look at the size of these guys. These guys are ginormous, it's about the size of your hand. They look a lot like a flagtail perchilotus, like this one right here way in the back, but these guys are actually tin foil barbs, but they're they're massive. Which were yeah, they? I got them both, two of them. You guys are not gonna believe what I just walked out of the store with. I have never seen these fish at the store, literally ever, and they get absolutely massive. They're super aggressive, and they're just gonna be a really cool addition to the 55 gallon tank. It turned around, baby, that's what you gotta do. If things aren't going your way, don't give up. You gotta keep grinding, be relentless, because guess what? Today turned out to be an amazing day. Let's head home. I can't wait to show you guys these new fish. We're back home from the store. We have two brand new fish inside this bag. Before we do put them in the new tank, we gotta make sure these guys are extremely well fed. And to do that, we're gonna go fishing right now extremely quickly. All we're gonna need is, you know what, this nice, beautiful little bucket with a net. And uh, believe it or not, this was actually part of my Easter basket. It was this bucket right here, and it actually came quite in handy. We have arrived at our fishing location, and what we're here for are these school of glass windows right here. These were from our last video that we filmed on the main channel. And you know what? These guys have been in the tank for a little bit, and I think it would be awesome if we took them and put them in my tank and watched our fish go to work. Check out what we got inside here, though. This black ribbon eel is absolutely crazy. Look at that yellow across the top of his back. The white on the bottom, such an amazing fish. When that thing's swimming around and it goes like this, it is three feet long, I kid you not. Check out our shark swimming around right now. And we have another shark in here as well. I don't know where he is. I think he might be hiding back in the rocks, but this tank is seriously so cool. Eel, sharks, groupers, angler fish, you name it, it's, it's inside this tank. But we gotta go fishing, you guys. We gotta get our fish inside this bucket here, so let's get to work. All right, we got water inside here. Now we got the school of them right there. Now in order for me to film this and catch them is going to be extremely hard, so bear with me, you guys. All right, there we go. We got our first catch inside there. I'm gonna get the rest of them. It is extremely hard to film and catch these fish at the same time, so let me get to work. All right, we got them all inside here. We have five of these bad boys, but. Take a look at actually how cool these things actually look, especially when you have a whole school of them inside your tank. They are really, really cool fish, very underestimated. All right, I'm gonna add this guy to the tank. I'm gonna hope he's gonna swim around pretty good. Okay, yeah, he's there he is, he's at the top. We're going one at a time. Wait till a fish gets out. Oh, here we go, here goes Spike. Somebody sees him, somebody sees him, where'd he go? Oh, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Oh, wait till the grouper sees him, he's over, he's done. Here we go. He's so fast. I'm gonna throw a couple more in there too. Oh, 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 here we go, boom! There he goes, Zeus just absolutely lit one up. Oh my God, he still sees more, he sees more. Look at this, look at the, look at the grouper, look at the grouper. Oh, oh my God, Spike! Holy crap, look at Spike go! Look at Spike go, look at Spike go! Oh my God, he's got him pinned in the corner. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God, he got him! He got him, he got him! Look at that, oh, now it's dropping, and look who's gonna clean it up, boom. 
The blue line grouper. I think I got two more in here. Two more of these bad boys. In they go, in they go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Simba, 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 Simba's on him, Simba's on him. Oh my God, Spike, holy crap. We're destroying them. There's still two more in there. I'm gonna let those guys stay in here because it's gonna be good distractions for when my two new brand new fish, but they're pretty big. They're pretty big and I've never ever seen these before at the store. So when I saw these, I was like, holy cow, I cannot think twice. I need to just buy them right now. Now you guys, for the moment of truth, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the brand new fish that we just picked up that I've literally never seen before at the store. I'm gonna put them inside this bucket here in this bin. This is where we're gonna acclimate them. And wait till you guys get a good look at these. They are crazy. All right, here we have it, you guys. These are baby golden trevallis. These things get over three and a half feet, and they're absolutely stunning. Look at those fish. They're golden with black bars down the side of them. I'm gonna get them into this, into this bin here so we can get a better look, and we can acclimate them a heck of a lot better. But seriously, look at those. They get three and a half feet long. So from here, they're probably gonna go into the saltwater pond, but whole Lee cow and what they're known to do is these fish are actually in a tank with a ginormous puffer fish and in the wild these giant trevallis follow around big fish like sharks and everything so what they tend to do is follow around the biggest fish that's inside the aquarium which is going to be spike so spike should have two new best friends inside of his aquarium. The store I bought it at, there was a big dog face puffer inside that aquarium and they were hiding under them. They were moving all around. They eat all the scraps that, that the bigger fish eat. These fish are insane. Golden Trevally. I'm gonna pop up a big one right here. I mean, holy cow. I cannot wait to see these things grow. All right, here we go, you guys. We're getting these fish out now. Oh my God, look at that, how gold they are. Once they're out and about, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna get the ring light out and oh my God, you're gonna see these things. Oh. They're so freaking beautiful. We got one left in the bag. Here he comes. There they are. Holy cow. Look at those fish. I am obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed with these. Okay, come here. Come here. Look at this, guys. Get a really good look at them. Those fish, the distinct black stripes with the gold. So beautiful. I have never seen these before. These are like super, super exotic. I mean, these things literally are some of the most exotic looking fish I've ever seen. They're in the Jack Creval family. So my last video, you guys saw me catch a ginormous jack that was about two feet long. These things are gonna grow to be way bigger than that. And these things are stunning. I cannot wait to see them inside this tank. So let's start acclimating and then we're getting them in. Okay, you guys, we have doubled the water. We're good to go. We're about to get them in the aquarium. Let's go ahead and net one of these. Come here, guys. Come on. Oh, guys, that fish is stunning. That fish is absolutely amazing. Let's get him in the tank. Oh, baby. One is in. Look at that fish. I'm going to go ahead and get his buddy because I'm sure he wants his buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Got him. Got him, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. He's in. There they are. They're a little skittish at the moment, but give them a little bit of time and they're gonna warm up and they're gonna be beautiful. Check out how gorgeous they are. And there they go. They're already hiding right underneath Spike. I knew they were gonna be best friends. Wow. That fish, those, those guys are stunning. Best, I think that's the best addition we've ever put into the tank. Are you kidding me right now? Beautiful. I'm doing something I have never done before and that's underwater footage inside my aquarium. You guys are heading in right now. Now that was some pretty cool underwater footage, I think. I mean, you know what? I put a GoPro on my tank. It looked like we were on the reef. Freaking awesome. Now today's video literally went nowhere near plan, but you know what? We pulled something together. It basically, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Went on a little adventure, came home, gave you guys an update on what's going on with the Mimic Octopus. Got some new fish for the aquarium. I call it a success. Now I have the shout outs of the day. And from the YouTube, it goes to Sacktown Dad. From the Discord, shout out to Arapaima Guy. And from the Instagram, shout out to Ryan Bush. I love each and every single one of you guys. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.